Hello friends, welcome back to another episode of Olympus Chosen. Don't have much to discuss before jumping into the scenario, except that I spent Hephaestus's money on some stun powder. I think I mentioned this in the end of the last episode, and I just followed through with that. That'll do. So since we went and found the aid of the ice there and the ice there kind of our hail kind of pointed us in a couple directions i think it's time for us to venture on our own for at least for at least a scenario so since the plane of elemental power is still available to us I say we jump through the rift that uh, we left open back here. I think we actually left it open in Ruinous Crypt. And the plane, or the portal, goes to the plane of elemental power. We're going to be seeing Earth Demons, which we haven't seen in some time, but um, if you remember them, they are... They carry lots of health with them. They walk really slowly, but they do hit pretty hard. Of course, we are seeing some more flame demons and sun demons. I think we've seen sun demons before. They come with some health. Um, kind of average movement attack but they always attack with advantage they are flying and they do have a shield this is going to be good for electrona because they produce light and we can burn or consume light with electrona so i say this is going to be a pretty pretty much a cakewalk flame demons of course they can be dangerous, but Ate we've seen can handle them pretty easily on a one per turn basis. And Earth Demons, as long as we just control them, we should be fine, right? Let us see. Hmm. Before we do that, I almost forgot. I'd like to bless Ate again. So 20, what is it? Two more times and we'll increase the prosperity once more. Uh, and I'm still going to continue um, saving the gold for our Electrona. So we'll, we'll keep that. Although I would like to bless her as well, but at this point, I really want to save it so that I can buy a, a healing potion for her. All right, let's do this. Explore what may or may not lie beyond. It's an unnamed location, part of a core quest. Kill all enemies in all rooms. Stumbling through the woods, you are alarmed to hear the sudden sounds of a large animal rummaging through the underbrush. You crouch down, gauging the grunts and growls. Through the trees, you see a large bear approaching your location. It has not noticed you yet, but you imagine it will soon. So we can attack the bear, hopefully catching it by surprise. Probably gonna end up with some damage if we do that or take the opportunity to run from the bear before it gets any closer. How about we just sit tight and wait for it to go away? I say, let's attack the bear, hopefully catching it by surprise. If we run away from this, that would like make Electrona the hero look more like a coward. I don't think she's too up for that. And I think the other two probably more so Ate would be okay with this as well so we'll we'll go with attack the bear okay the bear roars as you approach making powerful swipes with its claws 
Still, with the surprise and the commotion, the bear is not all that committed to the fight. After a bit of back and forth, the animal grunts and runs off into the trees. I think that was better. We do start wounded, so once we start our turns, we will start taking damage, but we can easily get rid of that. Your vision shifts and blurs around you. Nightmarish wailing pierces your ears. You feel your extremities stretching out, as if the universe is trying to tear you apart. And then it stops. You open your eyes to see your feet are on solid ground, but around you whirl strange elemental energies, fire mixing with ice in torrential power. You catch your breath and glance back, relieved to see a void of darkness similar to the one that brought you to this place. The relief is short-lived, however. Okay, so our battle goals. Scrambler, take only short rests. Hunter, kill an elite. Short. Professional, use your items. I think that's the one I'm going to go for. Be the first opener. Nope, professional. That's that's certainly a, a Hephaestus, a tinkerer thing, right? Definitely not this. Let's go for 13 gold. Not gold. XP. Yep. Okay, let's do it. A booming voice fills the crackling air. Who are you to slay my servants and invade my realm? This affront will not go unpunished. Before you, the energies in the air begin to form vague, demonic shapes. To go deeper into this unearthly place, you must fight your way through. Well, all right then. What do we got here? A very large room corridor into where we are standing now. Ice and lava and everything as it was suggesting twisted together interesting interesting place as you can see we are um wounded but with restorative mist we'll be able to heal both of these two removing the wound even if they do go first they'll take a wound or take a, a hit point damage and then he will be able to remove it. We can deal with his maybe a little bit later, but that's basically how we're going to deal with that. In round one. Okay. Well, we'll be starting off with Ate, Smoke Bomb, and Visage of the Inevitable to take care of this first Flame Demon. We can figure out another way to do this one. <clears throat> I think this is going to be working better, but um, for now, because we can just pull it in. But I think what we can do is use single out later to go for that one. Um, anyway, Tinker, Restorative Mist, as I said, and Stun Shot to start controlling the Earth Demon. And we will basically just make sure that this guy is stunned all the time and don't worry about it until um until probably these two are dead that's my goal here and then going late daybreak and protective blessing to start blessing and getting the scoundrel ready for next round okay he's gonna heal himself that's about it but we're gonna stun him anyway so what I could do instead is maybe move up and stun this instead of this because we're not going to see anything harmful coming from that. Um, and since we're going before, then yeah, it'll be it'll be better. We don't have to do anything to them. We can just stun this and we don't have to have incoming damage from there either. Okay, let the wounds begin. There. 
one down. Uh, we might actually... I could just pull that again. Um, where is it? I could just take this again with the Minor Stamina Potion, and after we kill this, or maybe we want to use it for this, like, it. let's figure out maybe we want it again, because these are both normal. So, let's think about that. Obviously, we're not going to do this now. Let's, let's put some thought first. So, you, we can move up to here, pick up some loot. And then we can stun this guy. Okay. Um, I guess I don't want to move at all. Or I could move up to here and, let's see, like, uh, bless Hephaestus and then bless Ate and strengthen her. I could do something like that instead of just bless, bless, strengthen. I might do it that way. Let's do it that way. That way we're moving toward the door. And blessing everybody. I think that works. Round two. We're going to run up with Ate first at six. Not liking how early she's going, but that's what you get for picking extremely late and extremely early cards. I can't really go in the middle. So backstab for the move and initiative and single out to make an attack four here. And then Sunkeeper, uh, Electrana, going with Empowering Command so that she can make another attack there. And Holy Strike to stun the Earth Demon. And then finally last, 61, is Hephaestus with Enhancement Field and Disorienting Flash just for a, a couple move. And we got really lucky there. Okay. So as long as I take this out, we'll be fine. Just need to take it out. We are strengthened and we have three blessings in there. A couple plus twos. Well, three plus twos, another times two. Come on. Come on, Ate. And there it is. Well done. So now we don't really need to do... I mean, we can still just kill it, and I will. Well, keep hitting it, I mean. But we could just have Ate pick up that card and we can use it, or we can use that card in here, but I say let's get through this room right now. Uh, let's use the Poison Dagger. Why not? If we can get through this room right now, that's great. Yeah. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. Uh, skip that. Move a little bit. I'd like to pick up that gold, but I can't get there. Well done. Pretty easy, right? 
So let's open up this door in the next round. So we're going to start off with Electrana, Cautious Advance, and Tactical Order. Open up the door, get some shield. She's already got her chain mail. Uh, we have boots if we really want to get further in there. We'll see. Then going late is Hephaestus Ink Bomb for the move to get in the room. Reinvigorating Elixir to finally we'll get rid of that wound and uh, heal up the three, which we'll, be, we'll have at that time. And Ate picking up her precious coins and then moving into the room and we'll do the clear choice next round of hidden daggers and flurry blades going early again. Okay, what do we got? We have two normals back there with a few traps. We've got an elite sun demon and a normal, two normals, um, earth demons. Okay. We're going to move three, attack three at range three. So one, two, three, one, two, three. So if she stays right here, those will not be reaching her. Yes. What about you? Yeah, you're going to be reaching her. And we do have a hazardous terrain there. Okay. Should have brought those boots. No, we'll be fine. And they're going to move too. So don't move anymore. Just shield. Yeah. You'll be taking three. Okay, okay. You'll be taking three attacks here. I feel like I should probably get ready, right? I mean, I could use this. I'll wait. I'll wait. Perfect. Nada. Ow. All right. Do we still want to just heal ourselves? I think we do, don't we? Let's just heal ourselves to get rid of this wound. She has ways of healing herself, so... Well, okay. I'm glad that I didn't... I, I forgot about checking out the elements. So, the flame demon infused fire. And then the sun demon consumed it to inf uh, infuse f light. Oh, of course, they, they've blocked you in there. Great. Well, I'm going to steal some coins. Not everything's for you. So we have light going for our next round anyway. That's great. And we'll go here so that we can hit all three of them. We'll wait. We'll just figure out another thing to do with her. Oh, uh, with, with those. And now... Let's wait. I know what we're going to do next round. We can make our choice about what to do next round. I definitely regret standing here. I guess if I stood here, they probably they'd be standing here, so it wouldn't really matter. Um Yeah. Now we're blocked in. That's that's kind of annoying, but Okay. 
Round four, Flurry of Blades, Hidden Daggers. And for you, I'm thinking Toxic Bolt. Or I could go Reviving Shock. And let's go Flamethrower, actually, for some more shield. And now I need to make sure that I'm going before the Sun Demon. 23 is as fast as I can go. That's too bad. But I do want to use this. 65. Man. Or I could go Hammer Blow, Underwavering Mandate. So that I could heal myself. Uh, I wouldn't use the bottom ability here. I'd use the top ability for consuming light. But I'd want to be going earlier. That's the problem here. Do I chance it? Because not all of their abilities will consume light. But when they do, it's uh, it's scary. I don't think I chance it. I think we need to go early. And I'm going to use defensive stance for the attack so that I have that mobility if I need it. Okay. Okay, I mean, they are going late. They were going to consume it to heal, but they don't need to heal. Not yet. They will, I guess. And we have some incoming damage over there. Okay. I think now might be a good time to use the Minor Power Potion. We still have three blessings. And our, actually our modifier deck is completely shuffled and clean. So let's use it. That's why we use it. Okay, good chances over here. Fantastic. Now, which card do we want to bring? We're going to have throwing knives. So I'm thinking something late. I really want this, but I'm not sure if we're going to have the ability to use it. So I'm going to take single out instead. And either we use Throwing Knives, or we use Single Out for the attack, and then we can just use the bottom for the default movement. Yep, that way we can go early or late. We have a lot of flexibility with these two cards. Okay. This is gonna be painful. Jeez. Okay. Uh, well, I mean, this is a bit too late, but we'll still use it for... Uh, I guess this isn't going to happen because they're not going to be able to get to us. Um, I'd really like to poison you, but that's not going to be the case, is it? Let's hit you. No. No. No, let's hit you. I was thinking we could kill you, but then there would be a place for you to stand, and I don't want that. So we want to be hitting you. And we'll do that with advantage. Oh! Because the poison. I was wondering, uh, pull a minus one, but because we had that, the poison was there, that's what saved us. Wow. And we do not want to move. Because if we do, we're going to be attacked for five. With it, and they will always have advantage. And that would kill you. So we'll skip the movement. Okay. We're going to need to find a way to heal you. 
getting dangerous. Well, we're going to have to do something like this and hope for this to be early enough to heal ourselves. Since we're it's 55 or 57, we might as well just go for a double heal. I think we got to go for this. We have the stun powder and we have weighted net. Not that uh, it wouldn't matter, I guess, if we did it for both of them, but... I'm thinking we need to go early with her now. And hit this guy, though. Move up and attack. It's not going to be enough, though. But this certain... Whoops. This throwing knives would do nothing at this point. So, single out... That would make all of this attack her, so we'll have to be very careful about this. We can stun somebody. And then a double heal. Okay. Well, we'll definitely stun you. <laughs> uh, the Earth Demon isn't going to do too much. And then the Fire, or the Flame Demons, will be doing some extra damage. Uh, attacking two. Oh my. Um, okay. Well, there's nothing I can... I want this... I guess I don't need to make this attack. What I could do instead is make this attack and then just walk away. Or I could walk to here and then do like battle axe and this and maybe kill both of them. Or, well, kill one of them at least. Or maybe. <laughs> I think that's going to be my, my plan here. Yep. Big attack here. And she absolutely pulled through. Oh, you know what? I did not need to use those goggles because she was already strengthened. Uh, whoops. I mean, she's going to probably take a long rest anyway, but keep that. That was pretty big. Pretty big. This means that... This actually... This means we can just walk into here. And stun you while... I mean, would that really even do anything? Not really, would it? Uh, well, let's still just move in. I guess if I pull the blessing or times two against you, then we'll be able to do something. I don't know. Uh, we'll make these two attacks. And we're gonna bless or uh, stun you. And I might as well just use this. Why not? because I'm not going to be able to really use it in the next round. Okay, we got a damage. I don't know why... Okay, good. It looks like I pulled two cards for the Tinker... 
Tinkerer attacks Sun Demon Elite with attack 2. Tinkerer draws plus 0 and plus 1 attack modifiers. And then we took... And then we took the... Uh, the, the smallest one. But he had advantage even though he was standing next to his target with a ranged attack, he had advantage. So he should have only pulled one card. We're just going to be healing ourselves here. I really, it would have been cool if there was, um, I guess if I went late, that would have been the better thing to do. I guess it wouldn't have mattered anyway, but uh, it would have been nice to, to heal everybody else too, but or somebody else. Because they're both wounded. Uh, okay, round six. Round six. I'm thinking long rest. I'm thinking they're both flying. I was looking at this idea to stun and hook gun, but they're both flying and there's really nowhere I can put anything. So that's just not going to happen. Uh, we'll still do this, but I don't know what we're going to do with it. And you're going to take a long rest. So this could be dangerous, but I don't see anybody dying. So, yeah, I think we're going to be fine. And that's, I mean, this is bad. This, not so bad at all. And it's going to heal too. Hmm. Has she used? No, she hasn't. So our best bet is to actually walk away with the Tinkerer. And we'll use this to make an attack, but I'm not going to pull it. Skip the pull. Ow. That hurt. Yes, yes. All right. We will use the minor healing potion. And we'll long rest. Uh, I'm thinking... I'm thinking... I'm thinking throwing knives because there's some shielded enemies. So let's get rid of the... that one. The smaller one. Alright. Dazzling Charge. That's the one I'm going to get rid of. That one's tough. But because... I'm, first of all, Tinker would should be able to do a lot more healing. She has that bottom ability heal. This one brings in light. We don't really need to bring in light all the time because we're going to be getting it for free from these enemies. And I wanted to get rid of a, an ability card that had that didn't have attack on the top. I think that one that one didn't. So, <laughs> and I'd like to be using. I want to use unwavering mandates top ability, so I I want to keep it around a little bit longer. Uh, I'd, I'd like to use this one more time. And I want to use this one more time, otherwise these cards. So, maybe next Daybreak, something like that. Alright. Round 7. First up is Ate with Smoke Bomb and Single Out to target the Flame Demon. And then we have the Sun Keeper with Cautious Advance and Holy Strike to control the Sun Demon. And Long Rest for the Tinkerer. Okay, yeah. 
bad. Bad things come from when they consume uh, light, bad things. Okay. And I'm going to attack with... I, I know this is probably overkill, but I do not want to pull that. Like that. Did you see it? That's why I pull it. <laughs> or I use my goggles. And let's walk... There. And stun. And we also brought light in, which is great. guy. Alright. You'll be fine. I'm thinking reviving shock for the same reason that I got rid of some daggers. Something like that for her. Um, but I want to keep this heal in my pocket. Yeah. Hook gun. Because we have flying enemies, it's not going to be as useful. I know I was talking about using these, but I think I'm just going to have to... I think I'm just going to run up and tinker tools to get rid of a trap so we can walk in safely. Round 8. Crisis is up first with stun shot. Then we don't have to worry about you. And then enhancement field... Let's make sure that our next attacks are going to be big. So a plus one for those. Then 85 will go invisible to get the strengthen and flanking shot an attack of five at strengthened. And yeah, I think the reason that I'm doing this this is the reason why I'm doing this. I don't want to do this. I'd rather be running into the next room and doing that. I'm not sure if I'm going to have time, A, to do that. B, I needed the 85 so that Sunkeeper can go later. Because I also want to use my Poison Dagger to poison it. So that 85 and 65 Electronic can go later with Defensive Stance and then uh, bless somebody as well. And you'll be stunned. Oops. Let's use this first, I think. <laughs> All right. Okay. see what I can get here. Um, I will poison. There it is. Oof. That is the second time in a row she's pulled that at the very beginning. I think she pulled these two same cards last time. I don't trust her. <laughs> okay. Maybe we can uh, completely... Yep. Kill it, and then we will we will move, and we'll just be blessing him instead. And I don't need to get light ready for the next round. I already know what I'm going to be doing here. Uh, Tinker's tools and ink bomb one two three four, so we can get rid of that trap. If that's the case, flintlock and backstab. So that we can pick up some loot and one, two. I guess we can use our boots, but we'll get over get over here somewhere. And tactical order for that movement with bless and strengthen. There we go. That way we're really ready for the next room. I think it's gonna work really well. Nice. Good work. 
Now we don't even need the boots. That's perfect. Up oh, before we go though. Ooh, we do want we're gonna use strengthen on you. Because if we do it here, then she's going to be strengthened for her turn and then it's over. She's already strengthened anyway. Not that that matters, but here we go. So one unfortunate thing is affect one ally within range. You are not your own ally, so too bad. But she's not there to help herself anyway. She's there to help her friends. Do we want light for when we walk into this next room? And we don't necessarily have to walk into the room right away either. We could take a couple turns. I don't think I want to, but it would be nice to walk into the room with a fresh start. So maybe we will. Yeah, we'll use our boots. I don't know. No, let's not. Let's see here. One, two, three, four, five, six. We could open the door now, but I'm not going to. I think we should open the door this round and just let what happens happen. Um, if that's going to be the case, let's use Hammer Blow to get in there. And, uh, you know, we can use this to actually help somebody right now. I think I like that idea. Um, I wish I used the, the light now. So who would, uh, who would be taking two cards? Maybe you. So we'll open up that door with Electrana. I will use this to get two cards. But I don't know which one yet. And I probably should figure that out soon. Because we're going to have to do it before we walk in. I guess what I could do is like one and then just back up to here and then help somebody or just stop here. But I think I want to do this before we walk in that door. I almost want to say... I'm thinking the scoundrel. I'm thinking Ate, so that she can go one more round without uh, without resting. But that means Ate and Electrana are going to be resting in the same time. So I'm going to help that situation out, I think, is reviving shock for the movement and disorienting flash for a couple stuns when we open that door. I don't have any more movement though. So I'm hoping that there's going to be like, I'm going late enough that enemies will be walking this way. We're gonna have to see. I'm hoping. And then scoundrel Ate with 88 visage of the inevitable and flurry of blades. Not sure how we're going to use it yet. Okay. But I think two two cards probably should be hidden daggers. Uh, so that we can go invisible and flanking strike so that we can go early. And maybe when we walk into the into the room, we'll use this probably to get ready for the next uh, for the next round and if we get really lucky we've got that and then in the next round we can do this and go invisible I think that's a good idea it also gives me early and late card again so I can be extremely flexible yes let's walk in what do you think's in here Oh, demons? Demons. Okay. Well, this is a lot of fire. But um, we have flame demon. Two normal flame demons. 
one light or sun demon, elite sun demon. And then we have these two big guys here. Um, you know what? We'll be able to kill this one right now. This is going to work out really well. Because she can go one, two, three, four. Let's think about this. If I stand here, she can run in and kill this. Or if I stand here, if I stand in one of these two hexes, I guess I could do this too, to get back here. And that might be a better thing to do because I want to be out of the way. Yes, I think this is the better thing so that she can walk in, kill, and then the next round hit you really hard. That's the way we're going to have to do it. What are you guys doing? Range three with that thing. One, two, three. So it's going to be like a, like a this. So I don't have to worry about those. And you're fine. Okay. Actually, this works really well. Except you're going to get hit by that guy. And that's fine. And there's some gold some loot. Where's the chest? There it is. The treasure chest is way back there. We definitely want to check that out. And I hope it's not uh, damage. Range three. One, two, three. I'm thinking I want to get ready because I could do like a heal heal, but not really. Nah. Nah, nah, nah. Here we go. Here we go. Um, well, unfortunately, I'm not... Well, I guess not, unfortunately. But yeah. Okay. Unfortunately, I'm not close enough to do anything. So, come up here. <laughs> yep. And we're just going to skip an attack here. I don't want to... There's no reason to stun you. You're going to be dead. Okay. Oh, this is awesome. I love when things like this work out. Okay, you're both going to be hit. But this is going to be worth it. Very, very worth it. Nice. These little things are cool. I, uh, man, the art, the art department of Flaming Fowl is just, they are on it. They are on fire. Look at that thing. All right. Round 11. First up is Ate. Of course, we're going to go Flanking Strike and hidden daggers for that combination I talked about before. Then a Feistus, Restorative Mist to walk up and heal, and then um, Reinvigorating Elixir to heal her, I think, unless he's going to be the one that's going to be attacked by a Sun Demon. I'm not sure. We'll have to see. I need to get him boots. I really need to get boots for him. And then 23, Mobilizing Axiom and Unwavering Mandate to do some more healing. I guess we'll be fine with health. Yes. Yes, we will. Okay. Moving to attack for range 2. So 1-2, one, nobody. 1-2, one, nobody. So you're, you're all fine. I'm hoping. I guess I don't even know if I'm going to be killing you. Uh, and then you are just going to move up. Uh, yeah, I didn't even think about, like, I guess after we hit you, we could move away, but he's going to be chasing us down, so I guess not. Oops, let's do this first. Obviously, Ate will not be the target of this attack. Okay. 
And we don't have our poison dagger. I actually thought about using it. Okay. I'll take it. We'll take it. Let's move in. And reinvigorating elixir. I think we gotta heal you. Since you're about to take a pretty nasty hit, I think that's worth it. Okay. Yeah, well done. I do have to say that um, the living corpses, the earth demons, they're kind of like my favorite uh, enemies, monsters, because one, they walk really slow and you can just kind of walk away from them and watch them walk to you. But they have so much health that I get to hit them over and over and over again. and. It's so rewarding to deal six, seven, eight, nine, ten damage. Um, even though it's still alive, you get to hit it again for that amount. It's just, it's very rewarding. I like it. Perfect. That's good. Round 12. I don't know if I want to take a long rest. I kind of do. But I might take a short rest because the, the I'm kind of seeing the urgency at this moment. Um, I'm going to take a short rest with you because you have strengthened and you're invisible now. So I might as well do it, and we could probably just use uh, Hidden Daggers again. Alright, short rest here. Yeah, I'm fine with that. I would have liked to use this actually, and I was, I was actually planning on using it earlier, and I'm uh, on the, what was it, the Sun Demon back here. I actually looked at this and thought I could use that card. Uh, it's an elite. This is a good card. I'm gonna burn it. <laughs> I haven't. I don't know if I've actually gotten a chance to use it yet. Um, and what else? I'm thinking a short rest with you. Still have one more for that chainmail. I think I'm gonna take a long rest. And I'm gonna find a way to. I could use net shooter for instance. One, two, three. Make sure that you stay back there. And then flamethrower for that shield. Let's do it that way. And let's go for single out. And hidden daggers again, I guess. <laughs> uh, only because I'm trying to... I want to use this over here. I guess you're elite anyway, but... I just don't want you to be taking the brunt of this. So, we'll go late. We'll use single out. And then hidden daggers to keep invisible and strengthened for the next rounds. Okay, I mean, it's not that bad. We can handle that. This... One, two, three, four. So it's going to target both of you. I mean, it, if I keep it from moving, it will target both of you. I guess it would just target you. You'd be invisible. They're just moving and creating traps. That's fine. This isn't too bad.
Okay. I think I'm going to use it. Let's use it to keep it from moving. And then I'm just going to back up. I guess I could have... Man, I forgot that I had that. But this was the only way I could reach it. Okay. It does burn this. But... It reduces incoming damage. We're just going to back up. Pick up some loot. Okay. Yeah, so we can just do this. Fantastic. And then we'll just go back invisible again. <laughs> I love it. And didn't attack because it has nowhere to, to move. And it didn't have a target. Not bad at all. Probably thinking I could get rid of Tactical Order now. But I'm wondering if she's... Well, I, I guess it could be a Tay that runs all the way back there to pick that up. But she also lost her her major move. So probably won't get rid of that now. Alright. Daybreak. Wait. No, this one. Because we can move and, and bless and still have an attack. Okay. Round 13. So I'm performing a short rest for a vice this and pulled the stun shot I wanted to use the stun shot this was why i decided to short rest instead of long rest so redraw actually that is a perfect card to uh to stop so we want to use stun shot and i'm gonna use enhancement uh, yeah enhancement field just to move up here so that i can stun that Or, or let's use this and disorienting flash so I can use this instead. And then I can use stun shot later. Okay. Because what I'm going to do is smoke bomb, pull, and visage of the inevitable to kill or to remove, I guess. Then I can walk up with him, Hephaestus. They can, um, he can pick up the loot, which is going to fall here. Thank you, Ate. And uh, heal both of them. It's not going to reach, though, is it? No. So he has to move up here. That's too bad. Uh, disorienting flash for both of them. And then she doesn't need to use this anymore. Tactical order. And I just got rid of the one card that I thought, oh, I don't need it anymore. So we'll use Empowering Command for that. They can get uh, some cards back. Maybe I'll just get those two cards back from her. I can use it again immediately for that. Oof. Let's do that. Okay, Flame Demon. We don't have to worry, and we don't have to worry. Look at that. Pretty easy turn. What shield? God, I love disorienting flash. It is great. 
Uh, we'll use this. Luckily, you're standing right next to her, so this is perfect. Smoke bomb, visage of the inevitable. How many? Okay, you need. You actually need five more. Yeah, we need five more. Um, ah, what's it called? XP. So one, maybe we can use X X uh, smoke bomb and something like hidden daggers uh, to make that final attack on you to gain four more something like that we're gonna have to farm so we're gonna keep you alive while I think she's gonna run back here and then between the two of you we're going to just kind of farm XP and keep it stunned kind of a thing I think that's what we're gonna have to do okay we're going to use our boots and just walk through this because I need one, two, three, four more. And I have that right there. It will take two damage, but that's fine. Those Drake scale boots, huh? Um, I don't think we want to use. No. We're not going to use that. Okay. Round 14. We're going to start off with Ate first. Flurry of Blades. Move four, gain advantage, and flanking strike. I don't like it anymore. I don't like it. Okay. Here's what I'm going to do instead. Smoke bomb. Splint lock. And I could hit either one of them. We'll just see who that's going to be. But uh, that will gain four XP. Then we just need one more. And then... Hephaestus is going to use stun block. Or... <laughs> Stun shot to stun, I don't know, and rigor reinvigorating elixir. I am having a really hard time talking tonight. Um, or an adjacent ally to recover all their discarded cards. It's only going to be two, but it's also going to give him a couple XP. I'm trying to get experience right now, so. And then she's going to Cautious Advance and Hammer Blow to go pick up that chest. Okay. It's nothing nothing too bad. We can handle whatever's coming in. Okay. There we go. I'm just hoping that this can connect. But if it doesn't... We got the experience. This is normal, which we could use this. So I'm going to attack you. Holding, uh, holding my breath here. Okay. Well, I mean, that was still pretty substantial and great. It's going to heal three. And we can just stun it for the next round. Hey, got a got some damage in there. I'd also like to pick up some of this gold, particularly right there. So I'll probably figure out a way to do that. 23 and she's the last one going. Let's see what this is. I'm hoping it's something good for her. There's sun demons. That's, I don't know. <laughs> we'll see. 
Uh, do I want to... I think I... Do I? I'm thinking of bringing it in, but... There's really no reason for it. I was thinking because it's stunned, I have an opportunity to make sure that I can use it, but... Oh, that is perfect for her. Unfortunately, we don't get to... We don't get it. We'll have to purchase it, but this is perfect. I love the steel ring. I've pretty much given that to, like, anybody. Anyone that can afford it first, I just buy it for them. Um, I've given it to the Tinkerer. I've given it to the... Uh, the Mind Thief. We'll see what it is. Um, it is a great, great tool. But, yeah, I don't get to do too much here. Let's do this and this. <laughs> sure. Uh, I'm not going to be able to do anything with you. Now, I need to get into a position in order to use... Uh, okay, I need to get into a position so that I can use Visage of the Inevitable... I might be able to do it. Let's do it. Go late and hoping that you get to go really early. And then flaking strike. So. Uh, there's going to be some damage here, but oh well. Yeah. Okay. Let's see if it works. Good. It's going early. That's great. And you're stunned. I like the sound that he makes when he's hurt. Like, he's actually a contraption or a robot or something, but I, I just think it's cool. Okay. Get, uh, get moving. Too bad we can't use this, but it's there. Oh, you're wounded. really want to pick this loot up so I'm hoping that we don't kill anybody well we'll probably be killing you skip the movement are you able to get here one two three four five you are yeah we'll use that to make sure that it doesn't move next round. Okay. Well, that is unfortunate. Uh, so that means what I'm going to do... Do we have a way to... I've burned your loot. Do you have a loot card anywhere? You don't either. I burned a loot too, and that's your only looting, isn't it? Oh man. Well, this is unfortunate, but I'm not gonna go up there and kill it. I need to... You've already gained 13 now, good. What do you need? Use your equipment. All right, still need to do that. I don't think I'll be able to do it in time, but I gotta get more loot cards. And do we have a way of getting back a burned card? I wanna say we don't. All the cards that we... Yeah, we do not. Oh man, okay. Things to keep in mind for the next rounds. Right. We're going to pick up some loot. Um, one, two, again. In the spirit of ending and not farming all 
every single piece of loot there is. Um, I'm going to take a short rest here, though. Nope, I need that one. And I want to... I want to move a little bit further, though. One, two, three, four. So let's go late. Just in case. Okay. Let's do this. Yes, yes. I'm going to heal myself five. It's going to burn another card. Flamethrower. I'm going to use both of these things. Is that going to be enough? It is. Okay. Cool. Good. It's still alive. But we've gained four more experience. We're getting really close to another level up. Five damage for that. And wounded again. Uh, I am thinking of doing this. It's going to be dying next round anyway. So let's pick up a little bit more loot. And this way, I can run over and stun it, and it will take a little bit more damage. Or it will still take damage from the wound. So stunned and wounded, it will... Uh, It will be dying next round. We don't have to do anything to do to kill it. So probably just getting as much XP as possible, right? Let's do that. Can I get next to her? I can. Short rest. Okay. Um, I'll do this. And that and the short rest over here sure and we're just gonna pick up more loot all right three and three all right i'm gonna do this That way I can still use Ink Bomb here. There. To gain as much XP as I possibly can. <laughs> and now you'll be able to perform another turn. We haven't seen this yet. Uh, I'm wondering if this is going to allow him to still pick up... I don't think so, but it says... Perform an extra turn by playing two cards from their hand. Let's test it out. Yeah! So he gets to pick up the gold. That's awesome. Now, should I go for one? Let's go for the gold. Let's go for the gold instead of one more XP. Wow. That was fun farming. As the final demon in sight screams and dissipates into the wind, you fall to your knees, thankful that the assault has stopped. Very interesting. The voice appears deep inside your head clawing at your brain with its words. You interlopers are unexpectedly powerful. I could certainly use your expertise to find something in your own plane. The red rock below you rumbles and cracks, and a fiery fissure opens at your feet. I open my realm to you. Come. Let me speak to you face to face. This does not sound promising. 
Having already made one leap of faith this day, you decide there's no harm in making another. The heat grows more intense as you descend, and scalding air billows up from below, slowing your fall. You land quite safely in what appears to be an underground temple. Before you stands a monstrous creature, horned and terrifying, holding a trident and standing on two hooved legs. The voice still resonates from inside your head. Brave and foolish. You should serve me well. There is an artifact of great power located in a forgotten temple along the Serpent's Kiss River. You can retrieve it for me, or you can die here and now. Well, when you put it like that. Okay. Look at all of that. So everybody completed their battle goal, which is awesome. Not too bad, Scoundrel. Ate. Doing her thing. Really, I mean, this is what she's best at. So we've we finally found her groove in taking out normal enemies, basically one a turn. So uh, that could be a pretty cool thing, actually. How many... How many enemies you take out per turn? That would be pretty cool. All right. Yeah. Let's see here. Four experience only for the Sunkeeper. Wow. I'm doing a lot better for the Scoundrel. The Tinkers did a lot better this time than last time. Let's let's see what we get out of this. Well, eight XP, of course. The Infernal Throne, where there's a boss. That would be Kill the Prime Demon. Uh, that is if we decide not to help him out. Obviously, we could return to Gloomhaven and say, yeah, we'll be right back. We don't have to go fight this right now. If we want to help him, then we go to the Temple of the Elements to retrieve the artifact. So, as I said, we don't we don't need to run to the Infernal Throne. We can go to Gloomhaven, or we can uh, take him on now. And you better believe. That is where we're going to leave it for a vote. That's going to be in my community tab on my channel. All right. Let's see this. We've got a perk to spend for Hephaestus. Where are we? We need one more perk point for Ate and one for Electrana. And I'm thinking to go for extend because I was playing with uh, some friends over the weekend and I started a tinkerer um, class for their campaign and I think they have they're about the same wealth so when I started the character I came in with three perk points, all right? And I spent one here, one here, and I think I got confused as well. And um, this ended up pulling for stun shot, and it was awesome. So I'm going to use it here. It doesn't mean that I'm going to pull it for stun shot, but if it does come up, it's going to be fantastic. So. There could be, let's see, there could be other things like net shooter. I could use get immobilized for someone else outside of that grouping. Um, I mean, just doing this or toxic bolt. So there's there's actually some other other options when it does pull. It's going to be a good thing. So, but it was really great to pull it here. I got to stun two things for free. 
without burning a card. It was great. All right. Enough said. So I hope you enjoyed this episode. If you did, you can let me know by leaving a like or a comment. And as always, thanks for stopping by, and I hope to see you next time.